What's going on, everybody? It is Nexus Complex, and we are back for another Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. We are sitting here at the Jagged Pass. We just defeated Team Magma. We thought of their plans. We have the meteorite in our possession. We're going to go down and see Flannery take on the Fire Gem. But first, we have to deal with these hikers that are out here causing a ruckus. Aerodactyl. Damn it. Every time I try to use Titus against a hiker, he has an Aerodactyl. Leon, I need you to hit this rock tomb, bud. Please. Thank you. Come on, Leon. Hey, you actually hit two in a row. And you beat an Aerodactyl by yourself, bud. That's an accomplishment, Leon. You're getting better. You are getting better. Leron. All right, Titus, get back out there. You got to avenge some friends. It's been a long time since we battled a Leron. I'm sure, uh... Anyone that's been watching the series will remember that Leron took care of some of our friends. He took them out in the first gym battle. Quite the asshole. And there we go. Leron is now finished. Titus gets to level 26. The team is looking very good right now. Just waiting for the battle that kills them all. Nuzlocks. So in the Jagged Pass, we can get an encounter. But I also know if I like screw up here, we like fall, and I'm not 100% sure we can get down to the gym. So we'll just get it right here. Popping all the dust, trying to get another encounter. Meditite. Very cool. Very cool. That is an interesting Pokemon to add to the team. So let's paralyze it. <laughs> let's make its legs not work so we can catch it. Hell yeah. But Fighting Psychic would be nice to add to the team. Now Jesse has to not kill this Poison Tail. Very nice. Let's throw a Great Ball and we might have a Meditite. That'd be very cool. He's a very intriguing Pokemon to add to the team. Awesome. Meditite has been obtained. Meditite, the Meditate Pokemon. It continually meditates for hours every day. As a result of rigorous and dedicated yoga training, it has tempered its spiritual power so much that it can fly. Dude, that's pretty sick. It's a female Meditite. What should we call her? Huh. I don't know. We'll name her Misha. Alright. So Misha has been added to the team. And now we'll just keep hopping down here. Hey you. What are you doing? What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is it of yours? Oh, I thought it was just going to be one of those things where they like give me stuff. Like, oh shit, I'm so sorry. Take this. Please don't beat me up anymore. Murkrow. Have a poison tail. Sure. 
Jesse is sick. I did not expect Jesse to do so well when I chose her as my star. But she has been putting in amazing work. Being one of the anchors of the team. And look at that. Just getting crits, poisoning Pokemon. Jesse's a monster. Her attack is sky high. Yeah, so Viper is a cool Pokemon. I really regret not using one up to this point. I did not know how good Survivor was. Flame Body. Well, that sucks. But Jesse has a level 26, so that's fine. Yeah, you should have ducked into your hideout. Where's your hideout? Okay. Alright, Leon, you're the only one that's not a level 26. Alright, let's see. Are we going to get into any more battles? There's a double battle there. We can avoid it, I think. Burn heal. Cool. And there we are. We have made it. Lava Ridge Town. All right, so now I have the option of adding Gold Duck to the team and just really solidifying the chances of us just crushing this gem. So I think if we do that, we're probably going to deposit Titus. He will probably do the least for us here. And I think it'll be the first time in the game, since we got Titus, that he will not be a part of the team. So Titus will go for now. He will take out Kappa, the Gold Duck. And hopefully Kappa can pick up some experience from the training here. I have to do some like switch switch around stuff because I really don't feel like going to train him right now. But do I have any water moves? I have at least like one water move, like a TM or something. He might be okay. I don't. So, guess we're gonna do a lot of switching in for this gym battle. All right, so let's get to it. This Flannery looking so cool in her Jinko jeans. There we go. See how the flames blaze wildly? They flare in anticipation of my win. <laughs> oh, you're so wrong. You're so wrong, bro. Cyndaquil. Yeah, so Cap is definitely underleveled here. Let's go to Dig Dug. Hopefully don't get burned. <laughs> Trying to uh, train Kappa here. Sick puns. Ooh, magnitude 10. That poor little Cyndaquil. That poor little Cyndaquil. Ponyta. Back into Kappa. Go Barry. Just eat that stomp up. He don't care. Drop his attack. I still think he'll kill this mud shot. Whew, we got close. Speed drop is nice. And finish it off with the water gun. Goodbye, Ponyta. Cap 
Kappa picking up a nice little bit of experience there. If he can get a water move, he might be able to start winning some battles by himself. Kind of reminds me of, like Sabrina's gym. As much as I love mountains, I especially love volcanoes! Why don't you tell that to the citizens of Bom Pompeii, you morbid bastard? Kabuto. Yeah. Your moves kind of suck right now, Kappa. We really need you to get better at that. Yeah, let's just go Barry. Oh no, Kabuto hit me with a Harden! No, Barry, you missed the mud shot. That's not like you, Barry. You're so reliable. Holy shit, that Kabuto has absorb. Okay. Okay. Mud shot. Come on. Okay, it's stupid and doesn't keep using absorb. All right, so Barry, I think you hit this uh, mud shot again. That'd be fantastic, thank you. All right. And the Kabuto that knew Absorb and almost killed Barry is dead. And Kappa gets to level 16. Confusion. Yes. But it'd still be great if you had a water type move, but we'll take Confusion as at least an attacking move that doesn't completely suck. Yeah, I don't think Cap is going to wind up paying dividends just because I was too lazy to train him up before this battle. Come on, get with it. Let's go before my feelings cool. Weird, bro. Houndoom. Oh, shit. Um, I guess let's go Dig Dug on this one. How do looks so badass? Alright, hopefully we've hit a good magnitude here. Magnitude 6. I don't know if that'll be enough. It might, though. Yep, it was. Perfect. Is that Houndoom with a boosted attack? Could have been issues. Kappa, getting 502 XP. And we beat Kindler Jace. Where does this one go? Kind of want to battle all the trainers here. Can your Pokemon withstand 392 degree heat? Some of them. They're water types. And I do have... I don't have any fire types, actually. Crobat. I don't think your Crobat can withstand... 392 degree heat, sir. Um, I guess Leon and Rock too. Yeah, Leon and Rock was probably the best thing for this. Double edge. Oh shit. Hey, we hit the Rock Tomb. That should kill. No, it didn't. Huh. Alright. As long as this isn't a crit. And then as long as this hits. Alright, cool. So Leon's gonna beat the Crobat. Pretty big win for Leon. Another feather in his cap. Kappa getting level 17. Cool trainer, Gerald. It didn't burn hotly enough. No, sir. No, it did not. I knew one of those was a trainer battle. Oh, wow, 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 it's so hot. 
Kindler Cold Growlithe. All right, Kappa. Take that Intimidate. Go into Dig Dug here. Will this kill the Growlithe? A six took down a Houndoom, so the six might have taken down the Growlithe? Not sure. Well, too bad we won't get to see now. Alright, so there goes Growlithe. Dig Dug putting in some good work here against Kendler Cole. At least one of these is probably a trainer. Yep. Trying to relieve my stress. Don't come along and stress me out, bro. Quillava. Alright, Barry. Let's do the damn thing. Battle of Second Stage Evolution Starters. Well, Lava, you drew the short end of the stick on that one, bud. There was like no way you were winning that battle. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I couldn't beat you, but I hope Flannery beats you down. Bet you do. You must be getting tired now. Not really. I'm not really doing any of the work. The Pokemon are. I'm just kind of chilling. Houndor. Cinderoxus out there. The rest of the team's getting kept pretty beat up by trying to level up Kappa. Ooh, the paralysis too. Good job, Roxas. Ever since you got an actual, like, stab move, you've been doing pretty good for the team. Kappa gets to level 18. Does he learn anything? Water? No, he doesn't. Should have left him in the box for in case something terrible happens. Okay, I'll battle with you. Alright, so... Battle Girl Danielle sent out a Machoke. Hmm. Kinda wanna try it. That was pretty good damage. It was a critical hit. So what is the Machoke gonna do? Fire Blast? What? I did not know Machoke could do that. That is ridiculous. Kappa, finally winning his first battle against a Machoke that was using Fire Blast. What? <laughs> what? Oh man, that was insane. That was literally insane. Why did Machoke do Fire Blast? Nobody knows. Damn it. All right, come on. Come on. Damn it. 
Alright. I think I got it. I think I got it. Damn it, I don't got it. <laughs> I apologize immensely. This is terrible. What are you even doing? What are you even doing? Do you know how to play the game? I think we all by know all know by now that that is a definitive no. Do you know what you're doing? Nope. Not even in the slightest. Damn it! Uh, what am I doing wrong? Alright, I actually gotta think about this now. I'm actually gonna think. I know, it's groundbreaking. Okay, that does nothing. Where does this go? Back down, okay. Oh, okay, I see what's going on now. actually took me using my brain for a little bit, which, yeah, that, that hurt. Not used to doing that when I'm playing Pokemon. So I don't think that I should really use Kappa. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Um, so I guess let's just go Dig Dug. Kappa can be like very like, oh my gosh, everything's going to shit or I need to throw somebody out. So, yeah, here we go. Here's the battle with Flannery. Puny trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I have been entrusted with the... No, no, wait. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me, though. I have been leader only for a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall um, demonstrate the hot moves we've honed on this land. Alright, starting with Camerupt. Dig Dug, I'm gonna need you to probably dig on this one. We need some reliability. We got like a magnitude 4. Oh shit. I forgot that hits in the ground. And Dig Dug is dead. Perfect. Alright, Barry, I guess it's. So on you now, bud. Damn. Well, that sucks. Dig Dug was gonna be like a huge part of this. Oh, that paralysis is not good. Barry is paralyzed. Okay, things are going great. God, okay. This camera up is working me over pretty bad. Kecleon, please. And he's also paralyzed. This is fantastic. Alright, um. So if we bury, should. So if someone's got to get fainted. It's gonna be Kappa. I'm sorry, Kappa. 
I'm sorry that I pulled you out of the box just for you to come get KO'd, essentially. Sorry, bud. Dude! I seem don't see anybody. <sighs> I am so sorry, Kappa. You didn't even get a chance to do anything or flourish. I apologize for that. Alright, Barry. Kappa threw down his life to give us this opportunity. You need to make sure we get out of this. Leon gets to level 26. Torkoal. Alright. It's just water gun. Whew, man, it just tanked that. And now it's gonna yawn me. Okay. Let's see. Um, you know what? I think Roxas should be able to take whatever Torgold does. Flamethrower. Come on, Roxas. Take it. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. Alright, Barry. Should be able to eat that flamethrower like it's nothing. Got burned though. This is fantastic. Just like everything is just going against us. All right, so that gym battle ended less than ideal, and it was even worse because OBS Studio decided to have an issue right as I was finishing getting my ass whooped. So basically, the rest of that battle played out with the uh, Torkoals just destroying me with secret power. Um, she had a level 29 Torkoal as her ace, and it was using secret power. It kept getting like paralysis. I was just getting, I was gonna lose anyways, even without the RNG, just because Barry was not doing enough damage. So the team got whited out. So they're all in the box. They're all, they're all retired as per Nuzlocke rules. And we have six Pokemon left. So in the next episode, I'm going to piece together the team, do some training and see if we can get, see if we can progress. But I just wanted to get on here personally, tell you guys that yes, the team whited out. Apologize for OBS Studios having an issue. I literally never saw that error code before. It popped up. I tried to re-record and then OBS Studio froze. So I, I lost that last seven minutes of the battle. But uh, yeah, the team died. So until next time, guys, this is Nexus Complex. I appreciate you watching. I hope you liked and subscribed if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys on the next one.